hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to build a bootstrap 5.3 project together see this is my completed project it has some hero section with some text and nice image and in now bar it is responsive as well and some bootstrap cards this is completed this is completely made using bootstrap and a grid section and a testimonial section it's a carousel as you can see and some nice photo we will build this together and we will explore more see new bootstrap features like tooltip dark theme and all so let's get started hey guys i have created a folder bootstrap and it has some assets like images that's needed for the project the link will be in description so let's create an index html file sorry you should be outside of and some nice html file template let's call it foodie express and just let's write bootstrap bootstrap project and some dummy paragraph text let's open it using bootstrap so let's open it using live server so let's add some it's working so let's add bootstrap go to official bootstrap documentation and select latest feature we also use bootstrap using npm install bootstrap but it's a simple project so we are going to use link copy this text and paste before body tag sorry before title tag and this text and paste it at the end of body tag because we are going to need it for navigation to work and let's see it is working yes it is working so let me show you a new bootstrap feature called dark theme so we can just use data bs theme and set it to dark type of hair i guess see it's a nice feature we can use dark light and auto so we are not using this just i wanted to show you this in case you needed it so let's start out let's start with the project so this is our demo project this is why are going to build a hero section some nice navigation bar and a text and image side by side so let's work on navigation bar so go to bootstrap and search here components and navigation bar of, co of course we can type it by hand but it will take a lot of times and so i'm just gonna copy paste here and say navigation bar and comment this line and paste it let's see it is working yes it is working so we don't need this search bar so we can just remove this form component sorry element i'm working too much with react i guess and we don't need this drop down but we can also make this drop down dark down dark thing like we can go to this dark detail bs theme and make it dark sorry it's annoying at this point but as you can see and we will remove this because we are not using this item drop down and this link disable too 
so you are gonna call it how it works and copy this two times and this one is features features contact okay we don't need this white background so we will remove this pc body title so we want to give some nice padding both side instead of using container fluid let's use container yes let's push this knob over here before bootstrap we are using margin and auto but we can use now ms auto let's give this one is active link let's remove this one because we are gonna style it link separately okay got it i'm using lato font here you can go to google font search lato and select regular 400 bold and just copy this but i'm gonna copy this in css so i have created a style css with some predefined style for us to use i'm gonna copy this one here and let's write some css to reset all the functionality so padding zero margin zero box sizing border box and body we are gonna use this font so copy this font family here and insert html i'm gonna reset font size to 62.5 which means one ram will be 10 pixels instead of 16 pixels so that it will be easier for us to calculate and some list styles you will list style none and a text decoration none so let's link this we have to link this after bootstrap time because in still if you're not the bootstrap won't work let's see it is working i guess the fonts are working it's too small instead body tag let's use some default color text color should be 333 gray default font size is 1.8 ram which is 80 pixels because we have set 1 ram is equal to 10 pixels here okay looks good let's do some default line height of 1.6 okay works now let's go here let's give some horizontal padding to now item let's say px2 this works for horizontal padding x2 yes as you see here let's give this one px2 okay nice so we are gonna call it 4d express so some cs bootstrap class like text white so it will text will be white here but we don't want to do that here so not it we are gonna okay let's do it we are gonna copy wrap this into a header tag and give it a class name of bg header so that we get some nice background to it so okay let's go here and select 
background header background color or I have already selected colors here this is background color let's see yes it is working now we can select where is now food express here we can make text white we can also make it font white bold as you can see let's style this nicely so we are gonna give some height to now let's say height should be 9 rem which is 9 pixels looks good and now bar brand should be font size 2.4 rem which is 24 pixels okay looking good let's style this now links now link link this is a nice way to style links using pseudo classes visited we are gonna do some color of font size of 1.8 rem and font width should be 500 let's import 500 here oh i am i'm gonna remove this one see we have already imported 500 we just add this here and display inline block because we are going to add some padding to the last element looks good Yes. Next, add some hover class now. Link link hover and now link active color should be primary color. Now, somewhere let's see nice. Let's select the last element. I'm gonna call it a CTA and select if now link and it also has a class of CTA. We are gonna give some background color of let's say primary color. Looks good. Let's do some pair. Let's do it some padding here on all direction. Let's say to it's not working. Px2. We are gonna take care of that in later. Let's say display inline block and give some padding of four pixels. 8 pixels still not working let's do that later and that's it i guess some border radius also 4 pixels so we have to take that out over section cti on or color var primary color no 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 we are gonna select just primary color and let's choose something like this no sorry we are gonna choose background color of background and make it light something light and choose color of, of course white 
as you can see let's make it some little darker here looks good and let's take off hero section there is some error i guess because of this i guess X. Let's try this padding again. Padding X to still not working. I'll take care of it in the next section. Hero section. Division container. We wanna give some padding top and bottom so five and we want to roll side by side so we are gonna use grid so division row division column tall the first column when the screen is small we want to use the whole columns and when the screen is large we are gonna use six columns so let's say h1 here and copy this text don't worry i'll give the text in description so that you can easily copy paste and some pretext and button order no looks like this let's give class of text white looks good we are not gonna give this one a text color of white because we are gonna use something for this so let's style this h1 for now h1 i'm gonna use a font size of 52 pixels looking nice let's make it bold or just use here bootstrap property of font weight bold okay let's give some letter spacing of minus 0 0.3 pixels okay make it let's make it 4 good and line height should be 1.3 and let's give some margin bottom of 220 pixels let's give it make it 1.2 okay then the p text should all the p text should have font size of 1.8 rem and line height should be 1.7 color let's let's select now our p element and give it some color primary color oh it's not working oh it's not in the now like section zero let's check it it's hero section looking nice but let's make it later let's go a little darker no lighter mm. 
No. Let's make it light. White. Now this is looking. Let's see what color I use. Let's check. Only white only. We have a text white property here. Let's remove this class and call it class of text white. Looking good now. Let's give some letter spicing. Sorry, this is old file. Letter spacing zero point three pixels. Okay, it looks good. We are gonna give some margin. Not this one. This one. We are gonna give some padding top again of four. Looks a little bit detached, but okay. We are gonna remove this one, and we are gonna give it a padding bottom of two, and we are gonna style this button class button button background color of. background color of primary color and some color text white and padding of obviously 5 pixels 10 pixels let's see oh we are gonna get some font size 1.8 rem looks good Border radius should be four pixels, I guess. Looks good. Let's see some padding like eight and sixteen. Let's give twenty four and see. Okay, works. And I am gonna give some pad more padding top of four as well. Sorry, we are gonna give margin top 5 so that it looks a bit separate. Here we are gonna give there you know, so that this text looks are together and we are gonna use an image here. So let's go design dot column 12 column and the large is 6. I'm gonna use a section here called section dot image. We will see why I'm using a section here in a bit. Let's say assets hero. Okay, looking good. Let's give it a class of hero image. Copy this and gonna give some width of hundred percent. Okay, looks good. So we want to vertically align these items side by side so we can use like here. You can make it like Let's 
see. We're gonna copy this both and call it division dot deflex. and align item center justify justify content center and let give some gap let's use cut off five okay looks good now looks horizontally centered yes and vertically too now if you want to push this item to the last so that's why i'm using this section image we can make this as flex container here let's use sorry instead of let's do it with bootstrap only deflex justify content and say this looks good let's use some padding top and bottom so that this looks good so where should we get this hair padding why i'm gonna select this section and do some padding of let's say 5m on top side 0 it's not applying let's remove this this is too small image with 100% oh, too much i guess this one is is this let's say to rem too much let's say 1.3 rem perfect so our hero section is done we'll, we are gonna build some nice card section in the next section so let's start all right let's do some quick fix success here the padding is not applied here so let's change that we're gonna go to style now go cta and let's make it five pixels let's say 0 0.5 rem and to rem the side by side and let's make it important so that it applies oh still not applying oh sorry type over nice so this is looking good let's give some here horizontal padding too so that it looks better let's make it three looks good now let's give some spacing here instead of using justify content center let's use justify content between okay i think this looks nice oh so let's make this scale down the image here a little bit let's use 80 percent no this is not and 90 percent so let's do some padding here section instead of sync let's do tour and padding and let's make it 900 only sync okay I think let's make it 90 
and do some more padding. Let's make 2.3 run. 2.5 just give it 30 pixel on top 30 pixel on bottom still not completed let's make it 3.2 okay it's looking good So let's build this card section. So I'm gonna create a sorry, not in here builder. I'm gonna call it a main section for and call section featured and create a container. Inside container is to text future food items. Sorry, and cross text dark font weight bold. Let's style this one and also text center and padding on both direction file. Let's make this H2 here. H2 here. Let's make it 44 pixels, 4.4 RAM, and line height should be 1.0. Three. Okay. Looks nice. Now we are gonna create another container here with row with column when the screen is large small it should enter occupy entire column when the screen is big it should occupy three columns so that we can make four columns for cards let's say division class card for bootstrap cards it will give some nice like this no and image should be called with the class name let's use assets burger the class name of card image top and all that text should go in card body so card body let's call it h3 Class card title, and let's see what I have here sizzling straight house versus burger and some card text of. Let's see how it is looking. It does not look good, but let we will style it later. And a button with class name of button. We have already styled this button here. I'll just call it order. No. So let's style this card. By default, the card comes with a border. As you can see, we can make it like border zero. So there is no border. Let's 
let's style this card title we are gonna give it font size of 1.8 rem and call it font weight bold Short for the jumps. Oh, name should be changed, I guess. And I'm gonna call this call text. And give it some font size of 1.6 rem so that it should less be should be smaller than this title. Looking good. Let's change this text here. Color should be let's say grayish. I'm gonna use 777 so that text looks grayish. Looks good. So bootstrap come with, comes with a shadow property so let's use shadow to the card see this looks little ugly let's give some padding so that we can say it padding of four see this kind of looks ugly so we can choose shadow small this one looks good or we can also show shadow small this looks good and there is also proper shadow large property this will create a large shadow property but i don't think it's a look good here just we'll just keep it shadow small and we'll copy this card four times So this looks nice but there is not enough gap. We can go to this row and give some gap here. So this looks nice but there is large padding here. So we we'll just give it boom. Maybe not boom, just leave it as this. And Let's just give it padding top and padding bottom of three. And here we are gonna give a padding y of five again. Padding five will not it will look good. So it has some nice shadows but i think it looks good now for now let's change the text i'm gonna just copy paste it the text will be in given for you so you can just easily copy paste it too and we are gonna call this pizza and this one is sushi i guess and this one is cake lava cake burger pizza this one is okay Let's leave it bit. If you want, you can change it. I will give the text link. Just I will just change the names of this title set. So 
so this is looking nice so let's create this section how it works so let's go here I'm gonna section how it works and I'm gonna copy this same text this one here sorry and we are going to how food express works i think there is some i should give some enough padding to and margins we will take care in the end this looks good so there are two cards side by side it's a nice shadow so let's create this so i'm gonna call division class container and give some heading of three that's it and division dot row division dot column when the screen is small it should occupy entire column when the screen is large it should occupy six columns and i'm gonna call it a fax container so i will show you why i'm doing this in a bit and here we are gonna call h3 browse our extension menu sorry browser extension menu and we are gonna call it we are gonna call it this one as section how card and class name of font weight bold text dark and we are going to call this how section how, work, how it works title and how it works text and I'm going to copy this text and paste it. It's not working. So, let's see. See, this is looking side by side because we use a flex container so that we can make it like column by using flex column bootstrap property. This looks nice. So, and we are gonna use an icon here with the span property. For icons, I'm using Ioni icons. So, to use this icon package, we just have to go to usage and copy the script paste it at the end of body tag maybe after bootstrap and i'm gonna search here for search copy this and paste it here 
I'm gonna call it class icon so this looks good so we are gonna copy this four times because we are we need four so let's change the text this looks ugly but it will look nice in a minute place your order for the second one and let's load this text same here copy this one and I'm gonna remove this one and press it here enjoy your meal and remove this one and text this one here so done okay this looks ugly so let's format this one so we are gonna how it works and font size of 2.4 rem okay this looks nice and that's okay now we can make it like let's just select everything this is a flex column use i am using alt in windows this one and this one we can make it align items center justify content center sorry we don't have to use align item center in this one so elements look good in start okay so let's copy this text and give it font size of 1.8 rem I think it is already 1.8 rem we should give let's give some color of gray line height should be 1.8 that looks look little bit touch okay I think what I found is the title is not up being applied here. Oh, I'm copying how it works. Title here too. There should be text. Okay just looks nice but it will look nicer in a minute we are gonna copy this icon and give some width of 1.8 rem height of 1.8 rem padding of 1.2 rem background color of and border radius of 50 percent so that it is not looking so color i think let's use primary color Oh, ok 
Okay, this looks nice. But let's do some padding here on the text. Pad margin bottom should be let's say one point four m. And on the icon margin bottom should be one point six rem. Okay, so let's give some shadow here. Shadow should be small. Okay, let's copy this. Should a small. Okay, I think this is looking good, but there is not enough gap. So we have to give this row a gutter of five, so that. Okay, this is looking good, but. We should take care of the padding. I think there is not enough padding inside of it, so let's give it padding of three. Okay, this looks nice. So let's copy this to every card. Okay, this looks nice, but let's do some padding on top here too. Padding Y, let's make this too. Padding Y of 5. And padding bottom, instead of padding bottom 5, we will use padding bottom of 3 here. Okay, there is large padding, so let's use CSS, I guess, present cross section, how it works. Padding of 0.4m and 0. Okay, this looks nice. And so let's give border radius to the cards. Cards. We can do this by using rounded property. We can make. Let's go to select all the classes. Card. Sorry. This this one, this one, and this one, and just rounded. Sorry, rounded. See, it will give a small, nice border radius, and we can do this here too. Just rounded. Okay, like this section is finished. Now, all is left is this part of our testimonial section. So, let's create this one. I'm gonna go section testimonials. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna give a padding of five pixel on the top and background color of background color this looks nice so search for carousel Okay. 
its nose, its hairs, carousel, and we are gonna copy this one here and paste it division class container so let's see how that looks this is looking nice though so we are gonna see this is we have three images we don't want this one so let's remove this one and we are gonna remove this one too let's just say division class row in division class column 12 and we are gonna use flex container inside it so deflex one below other so flex column align item center so i'm gonna use image let's say assets sara and give width of 100 percent here can do that using css but i'm just trying to see so it looks this looks very bad so let's give 200 pixels okay this looks little large let's go with 150 pixels looks nice so there is bootstrap class to make it rounded we can also use like rounded circle to make it circle okay this one looks good now i'm gonna create my h4 it says h3 call it testimonial testimonial text gonna copy this text okay I guess this should be P I guess and h3 testimonial name sara m let's see how it is looking this does not look good here so let's give some padding here i am gonna give padding bottom of padding bottom of let's say four and here padding bottom of 2 I'm gonna select this testimonial text and testimonial name both and give it a color of primary color still I guess I'm gonna give it width, I guess. Let's give it a width of eighty percent. This is annoying. Let's give it width of eighty percent. Of course, this is one. 
it's not working so let's just let's give this testing on here car i'm gonna go this width of 50 percent okay this looks nice but I'm gonna go put this in here I'm gonna grab this I'm gonna grab this inside a testimonial testimonial card so that it looks nice now this looks little bit detached and it from center we can use justify content center and also text center okay this looks good oh this is looking very ugly testimonials name not applying to his testimonial name what is this there is something okay let's replace this and Okay, this looks nice so we are gonna copy this one here and put this okay this is something there is some issue, yes. Um, sign missing. There is some corrosal item, I guess. This one here. We will wrap this inside a container now. This one plus container. Let's give building Y of 4. Now, let's No corrosal item. We are gonna copy this corrosal item once again. Let's see it works. Okay, this is working nice. Let us just text. Let's just change the text there to John 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 Oh this is 
okay this looks nice so all of all is left is just footer section so let's create footer i'm gonna call it container fluid and division class row in this we have three card three columns so column two and column medium column large for the first one in we have visitor section so we are gonna call h3 and visitor c let's see it's not given here so h3 font size of 2.4 rem looking good so let's say we are gonna give padding of py5 i think there is some issue in this one let, we will fix this one later Oh, now we are gonna use container only here some then some p text with address I'm not I'm sure why it is not just copying. Okay, we are gonna give a line break here so that it shows in next line. Okay, this looks good and need some padding. We are gonna give a class name of font weight word and padding bottom of three. and a href of mail to and we're just gonna call it info dot express dot com and in info at foodie express dot com let's call it class text dark okay this one is done now we will copy this one here and just our links So let's just copy this one here and just leave it to oh home how it works features contact 
so we can also wrap this up inside flex container division plus d flex flex column looks nice and we are gonna copy this again instead of this we are gonna place here here facebook with a class name of icon let's see it is working or not looks good we are gonna remove this one here Instagram because we have already styled the icon github or we can use twitter I think photo section is finished oh we have not given classes class icon class icon i guess that's it oh this is looking very bad instead of using flex column let's just choose flex and give some padding gap of five i think it does not work yeah we can just give padding x of three in horizontal direction looks good we don't want padding on the first one Okay, this looks good. Let's just fix this. Let's just fix this. I'm gonna go to Corol Solinar Corosal item active. Corosal item. Okay. So section the is on corosal item is on container we don't want pot to be active so let's the issue i guess okay now it looks good yes fantastic uh let's give some little bit padding here in this cards Instead of three, we are gonna give it four. Okay, that's nice. Let's give some padding to these cards too. But I don't think that's necessary. I guess it is finished. Let's just look at this. Oh, we have padding on the top. Okay, this where is this section padding of let's say five. Okay, let's and here explicitly we will use okay that's nice the website is looking finally good let's just use tool tip here we can just search to tip and in order for tool tip to work we have to copy this and paste inside script 
it's just paste it here it's a javascript so and in order for tooltip to enable we just have to use this database toggle and database database title so let's press this inside our brand sorry i'm not sure why this does not copy sorry again okay we don't want this we just want foodie express let's see now it works okay this looks good but we don't want this side we want this downside we can also use like hmm, on the bottom database placement on bottom let's just type database placement bottom looks you can add all these string elements but that's too much work so finally we have finished it we can give some id names so that it scrolls to this section what happened i guess links are not working oh there is issue in href okay you can get how you have to add hash features and contact and let's just say um let's, let's give it slash now it works i think link visited is not working let's remove this okay this is should be now link sorry for the typo now it will work let's use section names idea of how let's say it works id i don't section feature ID feature I think I have used wrong ID here this should be here and the future section should be contact oh ID contact now it will work nice that is features i think that is features okay fine 
we can set it to HTML scroll behavior smooth this looks good if you want we can make it fixed now work but that's too much work I will leave it for now and as you can see there is some fixes I have done it I will just copy paste it this is some minor fixes you can leave it out but this is good for responsiveness and that's it i guess we just add a copyright section in this photo let's just use p with the class name of text center and give copy right html entity we can be used like and copy all right result let's give it here two zero two three by forty express okay see this looks nice but we can make it like small very font size of let's say 1.2 rem and color of very grayish looks good let's go 1.4 okay that's it thank you guys for watching please subscribe and comment down what you want for me the new tutorials html css chask